In recent years, cancer took precedence as the leading cause of death and is not just impacting the elder generations, but the more youthful population. Generally worldwide, cancer has been an increase in many countries, in the Caribbean and other parts of the world. The difference really has to do with preventative measures that some countries have in place and the state of the art treatment that some countries have. In Grenada, I would say our preventative measures, our screening, is still relatively weak. In an exclusive interview with GBN, Dr. Barry Moore McBarnett says breast cancer is the leading cause of death in women, while prostate cancer the leading cause of death in men. He spoke of the various cases of cancer common in Grenadians. In the case of women, cervical cancer, we know it is caused by a virus called HPV, human papilloma virus. That's the main, most cervical cancers are caused by that virus. In the case of some of the lymphomas, they're caused by a virus called HTLV1, which stands for Human T-cell Lymphotropic Virus Type 1. That virus is endemic in Grenada, parts of the Caribbean, parts of the United States, and in Japan. And in most patients who get infected, they do not seem to have any problems with it, but about 68% of people who are infected with HTLV1 develop a cancer which is very aggressive. It's called ATLL, Adult T-cell Leukemia Lymphoma Virus. They have big nodes in different parts of the body. They have elevated calcium. And even in Japan and some places of the world, the treatment is not satisfactory. And they will die. You will keep them alive for a year, two, three years, but eventually they die because of that virus. Most men are absolutely petrified towards the annual prostate check. At age 14, the men should have a digital exam. The doctor can feel the prostate and a blood test called a PSA. A lot of men are reluctant to do those tests. One, I think a lot of Caribbean men are uncomfortable with people putting a finger into the rectum. And even the blood test they don't want to go for. And I think this poor health-seeking behavior is responsible for some men in Grenada coming down with prostate cancer. And they need to become more aware and to realize that at least annually they should do a proper check, including a prostate check. Testicular is more common in young men than people realize. In many young men, one of the preconditions is men whose testes, the testes is formed in the abdomen during development. And as you mature, it descends into the testes. In some men, there's a failure for one of the testes to descend. And it has to be corrected by surgery. These men are more at risk of testicular cancer than other people. Also, trauma, infections can lead to testicular cancer. If it's detected early, the treatment with surgery and chemo radiation, it will make a difference. Grenada is not famous for conducting research to determine the cause of this growing trend. However, Dr. McBarnett shared what he has assessed over the years. I think generally in Grenada, we don't really know the reason for the increase in cancers. We know it has to do with lifestyle, and we can identify some risk factors so far. Some of you know tobacco and exposure to, the, to tobacco is the leading cause of cancer, not only of the lungs and the esophagus, but even the bladder and even the kidney. We know that a combination of alcohol and cigarette smoking is probably more potent than either one alone. And we see a lot of head and neck cancers arising from the pharynx to the esophagus. Officials say oftentimes patients are diagnosed too late, and therefore by the time they begin receiving treatment, it's too late. Often time access to money to deal with treatment or surgery as necessary is part of the problem. The lack of some equipment and services on the island to facilitate cancer patients on the island is also of concern. Dr. McBarnett wants more emphasis to be placed on dealing with cancer care and prevention. I think people and the authorities need to spend more time and energy on the preventive measures. One it's more cost effective to be preventive rather than have to, to treat because the treatment of cancer is expensive, the drugs are not cheap. One of the major deficiencies in Greenland is that we don't have any radiotherapy. A lot of cancers require radiotherapy as part of the treatment. We need to find a solution to the absence of radiotherapy either by having a collective Caribbean unit or getting individuals who can support it and use it for the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, but that is required. The cost of drugs is high, so we need to find a means of making the cost cheaper so that people can afford the treatment. 
Medical professionals urge that frequent health checks, coupled with healthy lifestyles inclusive of balanced diets and plenty exercise, can help in the fight against cancer. For GBN Health, I am Joseph McKeesmith.